Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week we bring you interviews, practice quizzes, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. Today, before we get to our interview with Tao Nguyen, I would like to give you some really great news. It was reported by BuzzFeed late Friday evening that USCIS will not use the 128 questions that were released in late November. They were supposed to go into effect December the 1st. So for now, it seems like USCIS will keep the 100 questions. We're waiting for final confirmation. We expect it this week. USCIS and DHS has been super busy. They're just getting onto the job, but they're already hitting the ground running. Now let's get to our interview with new citizen Tao Nguyen. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Officer Jennifer. I will be interviewing you today. Before we begin, I need to ask you some questions about COVID-19. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you sick today? No, I'm okay. Do you have a fever? No. Do you have a cough? No. Do you have a sore throat? No. Have you been in contact with anybody that has tested positive for COVID-19? No. Have you traveled farther than? 150 miles from your home? No. Are you ready for the interview? Yes. Why do you want to become an American citizen? I want to vote. What do you miss about your old country? I miss my friend and my family. Please raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Put down your hand. Thank you. What did you just promise? I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth. Explain how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. I'm over 18. I have been a lawful permanent resident for five years. Show me your green card, your passport, and your state-issued ID. Here they are. What is your current legal name? My name is Thao Nguyen. Is the name on your green card the same as your current legal name? Yes, yeah, it's the same. What is your date of birth? It's one it's January 1, 2075. You are a New Year baby. Very good. Yeah. What date did you become a legal permanent resident? I uh, become a legal permanent resident on January 5, uh, 2009. What is your country of birth? My country of birth is Vietnam. What is your country of nationality? Vietnam. Are you requesting an, any accommodation because of a disability? No. Was your mother or father a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No, they were not. Are you Asian or Latino? Um, Asian. I'm going to move on to your current home addresses, okay? Yes. What is your current home address? My at the, my cousin address is 21250 Garden Road Avenue, California, 92841. Do you live on Old Garden Grove Avenue in Garden Grove City, mm. California? Yes. Do you have a previous home address? No. How do you support yourself? I'm work. What is your profession? 
a manicurist. Are you working now as a manicurist? Now I stay at home for okay. safety because COVID nineteen. Very good. Before that, were you working as a manicurist? Yes. Before the COVID nineteen shutdown. Yes. Did you receive unemployment insurance? Yes. I hope we can go back to work very soon. Yeah, thank you. Now, how about your husband? Is your husband working now? Yes, he, he is at home. Let me ask you about travel. Have you taken any trips outside the United States in the past five years? Yes. Tell me about your last trip. When did you leave, and when did you return? Yeah, I left uh, on November six, two thousand nineteen. When um, I and I returned uh, on January twelve, two thousand twenty twenty. Did you go to Vietnam? Yeah, I went to Vietnam. Do you have any more trips outside the United States? No. Now I'm going to ask you about your marital history. What is your current marital status? I'm married. Is your husband an American citizen? Yes, he is. What year did your husband become an American citizen? He became a U.S. citizen in. Two thousand and two, in Los Angeles or Santa Ana, in Los Angeles. Was your husband married before? No. Were you married before? No. This is your first marriage for yes, both of you. First, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Did your husband sponsor you to come to the United States? Ah, uh, no. I came to the American with the travel visa. How did you adjust your status from tourist to legal permanent resident? I'm tourist, so after I'm, uh, I got married with oh, my husband, so okay. I became yeah. So before you come, did you know your husband? No, I don't know. Yes. But you met him here on vacation. Yes. Oh, that's a great vacation. Oh, good story. Thank you. All right. Now I'm going to continue on. Do you have any children? I don't have a uh, children, but oh. my, my husband has a son. Okay, with but a he... girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. But he takes care of the son. Yes. That's a good guy. Yeah. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in the United States? No. What is to vote? To elect someone for government office. Do you have any title of nobility in a foreign country? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? No. What is legally incompetent? It means a hospital for people are unstable mentally. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? No. Do you pay your taxes every year with your husband? Yes. Do you belong to any groups or organizations? No. Do you belong to a union for manicurists? No. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No. Even when you were in Vietnam, were you part of a communist group for teachers or for your job? No. Have you ever been a member of a totalitarian party? No. What is a totalitarian party? It means a government control everything. Have you ever been a terrorist? No. What is a terrorist? Terrorist uh, is mean a violent uh, fire against the government. Have you ever advocated the overthrow of a government by either force or violence? No. So when you talk about overthrow, what does overthrow mean? 
is mean uh, bring government down. Yeah, to bring the government down. Perfect answer. Have mm -hmm. you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, or member of any particular social or political group? No. Okay. What is persecute? Persecute, uh, it means to hurt someone badly. Okay. Have you ever participated in genocide? No. Have you ever tortured someone? No. Have you ever killed someone? No. Have you ever planned to badly hurt or kill another person? No. Have you ever tried to stop someone from practicing his or her religion? No. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? No. What is crime? Crime is been uh, break the law. Have you ever been on probation? No. Probation means that you're released early from jail. Have you ever been in jail? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. What is a habitual drunkard? It means uh, people drink a lot of alcohol every day. Have you ever been a prostitute? No. What is a prostitute? It means uh, have a set for money. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs or narcotics? No. Can you give me an example of illegal drugs? It's them, uh, cocaine and heroin. Have you ever been married to two people at the same time? No. Have Just you one guy? Yeah. Okay. Did you marry your husband to get a green card so you can stay in the United States? No. Have you ever helped someone enter the United States illegally? No. What is it to help someone enter illegally? Do the person green. have the correct papers or don't have the correct papers? Don't have a correct paper. Have you ever gambled illegally? No. Have you ever lied to the U.S. government to get public benefits? No. Have you ever been deported? No. What is deported? Reporting. To be sent back to original country. Do you have any deportation, rescission, or removal proceedings against you now? No. Do you support the U.S. Constitution and the form of government? Yes. What is the U.S. Constitution? It's the supreme law of the land. What form of government do we have in the United States? Excuse me, can you say it again, please? What is the U.S. form of government? What do say? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is an oath? It's a solemn promise. What is allegiance? Be loyal to the United States. What is the oath of allegiance? I promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S. government? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. Army? Yes. What is to bear arms? To carry a weapon to fight. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the U.S. Army? Yes. What is a non-combatant? It means fighting without weapon. Are you willing to help during a national emergency? Yes. What is a national emergency? Emergency is a fire, equal and flood. Yes. yes. Now, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? Okay. The Pew of Right. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The president. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because uh, they have more people. What does the president's cabinet do? Advise the president. What are two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. What happened at the uh, 
constitutional convention. The constitution was written. What are two ways Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote and run for office. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Risk the slave. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Now I'm going to ask you to read and write a sentence. Yes. This is the sentence that I want you to read. Can you see it? When is President's Day? Write this one down. President's Day is in February. President's Day is in February. Yes. Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks to the students and staff of Milpitas Adult School. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where we're going to have resources for African American History Month, President's Day, and the very favorite Lunar New Year. Thanks for listening. I know you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.